Well, everybody, uh, welcome to the after show right now. I, we have uh, the after nine, I think we call it. Is that yes, the correct that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I, uh, I am here with uh, Christine LaBeouf. Uh, she's just one of our favorites uh, to be able to have a, a good conversation with. Well, I, I'd like to hear that. Thank yes, you. <laughs> yes, uh, she's got many, many uh, years of wisdom that are often uh, presented uh, to us, uh, not just here on the show, but just in life as oh, a whole. Oh, yeah. Notice the white hair. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. Right. So we had uh, an opportunity today. Uh, Sarah Quinlan had uh, delivered the word of the Lord, and I just think it's uh, it's really exciting, first of all, just to see her kind of just grow and develop. Um, it definitely you know, is. We kind of get to see kind of on the back end side of yep. that a little bit, too, yep. where we've been, you know, just talking a lot about God's word, a lot of what God's speaking to her. Uh, you know, just, you know, even even just a discernment in this in this particular time and season. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really been I've been really encouraged just getting that opportunity Amen. to see her grow. And, and I think kind of this series on trees is really incredible. See, I, I've uh, watched Sarah from childhood and I've seen a lovely young lady who has always stray, stayed faithful to God. Mm -hmm. But you know what? She's been through those desert experiences throughout her life. Yeah. And some of them have been really difficult. And yet here she is, still strong in the Lord, loving God, mm -hmm. serving Him, and continuing to grow. And the compassion that she has for others, mm -hmm. you know, especially the heart for, for young people. Yes. It's just amazing. It really is. It really yeah. is. So why don't we, we break down a little bit today, just kind of one of the themes we were just talking a little bit beforehand was... Uh, that through the prayer time today, through the the, the worship, yep. uh, and then leading into the message, one of the themes that came across today was that of faithfulness. Amen. Um, even when I was, you know, taking up the tithes and offerings today, I mm -hmm. felt that was kind of something that was really just God really ministering to people about He is a faithful God. Yes, He is. And so one of the things that so kind of picked up to me not only was the faithfulness, but but going to that tree, that broom tree, uh, she she made mention to it a few times. I'll just give my thoughts on this okay. for a minute. But sure. it was just the broom tree was always in the middle of the desert for the most part. Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing else around. But, but when you went there, it was wait on God. Yes. You know, you may be going there thinking that you're going to die or, or something is dying, but it was go there. There was protection. There was a waiting mm -hmm. period. And God saw people in the midst of that mm -hmm. that uh, situation that they were in under the broom trees. And uh, and really, he showed, hey, I'm still faithful. Yeah. And exactly. so that was kind of one of the big kind of themes on that. What did you, mm -hmm. what did you think about that? Um I, I find uh, trees growing in the desert very interesting mm -hmm. because I've been to some deserts and on uh, islands and even in Israel, and you do see trees, mm -hmm. but you don't see a lot of vegetation around it. Correct. And the interesting thing is these trees survive in the desert. Yes. They grow roots yep. that are deeper. They're fruitful in the desert. That's right. So they can stand the test of time. And uh, I believe we as individuals need to learn that those desert experiences, God is still with us, mm -hmm. but it's a time for us to, to stop being busy, mm -hmm. settle down, and allow God to minister to us. Yep. If we'll just open up our ears and our hearts mm -hmm. to hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 part of that time, right, is when it says, I, I always like, by, I love, by the way, the Isaiah 40, 31 verse, uh, you know, about the eagle and waiting upon the Lord. Yep. Uh, when I when I grew up, you know, a lot of times, you know, you have your, your favorite, you know, animals or mm -hmm. birds, et cetera. My brother's, you know, was the tiger, mm -hmm. but mine was always the bald eagle. Okay. And uh, so as I grew up, I had, you know, all of these plaques and I had statues and wood carvings <laughs> and blankets like every day you walked into my room and there was eagle stuff everywhere okay. and of course you know one of the, the things that came along with that was a scripture verse which was mm -hmm. often written on all of them That's but right. those who wait upon the lord yeah and um and so i always just found that it was something really relevant you know that kind of mm -hmm. spoke to me in that mm -hmm. moment is, is that because we think of eagles as strong and, and as mm -hmm. strength and but there's so many elegant things there that we just really need to just wait in God's presence. And That's I feel right. it really ties well even into our whole theme of the year of mm -hmm. trust in the Lord. Amen. Because 
we need to spend time just waiting on God, yes, right? And each do. of those things, there was a big breakthrough that followed, right? Yes. So it was a breakthrough in Elijah's life after he waited at the tree. That's there was right. a breakthrough in Hagar's life after the That's tree. There right. was a breakthrough in David's life after mm -hmm. he waited in that stronghold. And so I really believe that that's a, a key transitional mm -hmm. point is that waiting on God, what's his instruction Amen. for Amen. I find uh, in this day and age, um, one thing I've noticed, and I know it's a little off track, and yet it's still with the waiting, is the families that are dysfunctional, the families that are struggling, uh, the families where the children are, are out there doing their own thing and the parents are praying. And this is where you have to truly, truly trust God, wait on Him, and know that He is faithful. And he'll never leave you, he'll never forsake you, and he loves your kids and your other family members as mu more than you do, as a yeah. matter of fact. Yeah, that's true. And so uh, if you're in a desert, even in that area, trust God. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You know, the, the other thing that we were just talking about, which I thought was really, really cool about it, was is that in a lot of these circumstances, they were going back to the tree a second time. Yes, yes. And, you know, I, I, I thought that was, it actually stood out to me. It was just something we were talking about just yep. before the show started. Because a lot of times, and, and I, we, we go to that desert place for a moment. We go to that place to wait on God. We, we listen to what he's saying. And then we're like, yeah. I got the breakthrough. <laughs> yeah. The victory's finally here. I, I, I stopped going around the mountain because sometimes we always think about w desert experiences mm -hmm. as something like we've done wrong or we just have to learn something all the time. But, but sometimes it's just God fulfilling even the plans and the purposes that he has uh, along the way, right? You That's know, like right. sometimes it's just a progression. Sometimes it's, you know, like even in the Philistines case where he went back there twice, yep. Yep. you know, he, he got to kill the Philistines twice, mm -hmm. you know? That's right. And, and so I, I thought it was was interesting that sometimes, yeah, you got to, you find yourself back at the tree, back seeking God's voice. Yeah. And two things came to me out of it was one, it's not necessarily something that, that they did or they had to learn in the journey. That's right. It was just simply, this is life. This is what happened. Yep. And all you got to do is wait on me and I'm going to give you instruction. Amen. And and sometimes God's going to give you different instructions each time that's that you wait on him in the tree. Yep. And you got to be paying attention. What is he saying? Yep, that's the key. Don't expect God to always speak to you in the same way with the same thing. Always be open to hear what the Holy Spirit has to say to you. Yep. Yeah, and, and don't be disappointed, right? You know that you're That's under right. the broom tree exactly. again. Exactly. So I think we got to be wrapping up here in just a moment, but as we, we get to our final thoughts, what final thoughts you want to want to share about today? What final thoughts? Um, there were years I used to hate the desert experience. Mm -hmm. Now I love it. Okay. Because for me, it is always, in the end, it's always a period of growth mm -hmm. where I come out stronger, trusting God more, knowing who I am in Christ Jesus, and that his word is truth, that he will never leave me or forsake me. Amen. That's what I okay. basically have learned. Right. And, and I think I, I would draw something to that as well. But And, and I'm also going to go right back to what we talked about when we opened up today is God is faithful. Yes, he is. Yeah, even when we, you know, sometimes can't see it, don't know it. We think we're going to we're gonna die. Mm -hmm. Our dreams are dying. Don't, uh, you know, there was a really strong word on it today. Don't turn your back oh, on, yeah. on dreams and don't turn your back on what God is doing uh, before you and give up on it because you don't want to see that disappointment or exactly. lack of hope. And a lot of times I think we do do that. We, oh, yeah. we, we make the choice to give up because we don't want to be hurt again. And, oh, yeah. and I really think that was one thing that came That's across right. to me is remember, I'm faithful to you. Don't give up. Don't give up hope. Keep plowing ahead and you're going to see the breakthrough that, you do, that you're looking for. You know, one thing that people don't realize is that God, and you'll find it in Scripture, that God loves you as much as he loves Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then when we realize that, we realize our value and how much we love God and he loves us. Amen. And the reality of that is so important. Awesome. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I enjoyed being with you on the show today. I uh, did I look too. forward to doing some Amen. more of these. Uh, next week, I think we have uh, Pastor Rick is going to be actually ministering the okay. word of the Lord. Okay. And uh, we just encourage you all to join us tomorrow night. Even you know, if you're watching this later Amen. in the week, join in for prayer. That's a very Absolutely. important thing. Absolutely. To be joining together yes. within the body of Christ. We wish you all well. Have a great and a wonder, wondrous and prosperous day. Amen. Amen. <laughs>